Let's talk Airbus A320 circuit breakers. This is the Airbus A320. So like all electrical systems in general, aircraft systems are protected by circuit breakers. Not only are the CBs for electrical protection, but they are for system reset, system deactivation for maintenance, ETC. So now this basically is the heart of the A320. So we have this area, it's called the secondary circuit breaker panel. It's just behind the first officer seat. Then we've got the primary one for essential CBs just, just above the pilot. This is the primary circuit breaker panel. So now for the location, we have panel numbers. This one is panel 121VEU. That's 121VEU and 122VEU. So yeah, that's it. So now let's get a bit deeper. We look at the way uh, they are located. So you can see the little of the alphabet going up and then we've got these numbers going across. So the columns are numbered and the rows are lettered. So let's look at a CP like that one. So we can see it's on column number 24 over there. Number 24, that essential uh, network auto alternate. So in column number 24, and let's look at the row, it's on row V. So when located, it's in V24. So basically, that's how, that's just generally how we can do the CP location. It's on it's an alpha numeric number like this one is V24. Okay, basically that. So that's it on location. So we can look at the colors. We can see we've got different colored circuit breakers. Some are green and some are black. So what does that mean? We have got the green circuit breakers, which are monitored circuit breakers, and the black ones are non-monitored circuit breakers. What do we mean by that? Monitor CBs are monitored by the electronic centralized aircraft monitoring system, the ECAM. If the CB is pulled or open for more than a minute, a warning appears to the warn the pilot that the CB is open. So we can just give it a try and see what happens. Now let's get a bigger CB like this one. Let's pull it and see what happens. Okay, open. Let's wait. We we'll take about a minute. Okay, wait and see. Let's see, look at the 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 ecam and ecam warning. Okay, there it is. Okay, so there is a warning. The ecam triggers a warning. The warning appears on the aircraft displays uh, with the panel location uh, with the room. So if you close it, what happens? And let's check it. Does it go away? So immediately, once you close it, the warning should go away. Yes. So basically, the more the more immediately it goes away when you uh, restore the CB. So just generally that. So when we look at the the, the black ones now, these are non monitor That means the black CBs, if you pull it, and the ECAM does not worry about it and will not notify any, uh, will not trigger any warning once you pull it. So we can pull this one and we see what happens. We can take a look at, look at the displays and see if any warning appears. We can also check if the system displayed uh, is uh, inactive. That was a tire pressure warning system. You can see the X axis, but we still don't have any warning. So that CB is not monitored by the ECAM. So yeah, generally that's how the, the, the colored CBs are, are grouped and if you see a green CB, it means the CB is uh, monitored. So we have these colors. This is a, a wing to break for the slats and the flaps. So this one is it's a collar that pro that protects sensitive systems from being uh, reset and uh, it's also like uh, yeah, a warning as well. So yeah, that's it. So we also have some uh, white collars. These are for systems that have been uh, disabled. They were once active. But for some reason, either for modification purposes, they've been uh, deactivated. So they put that uh, collar to um, lock the CB. Then uh, we also have some CBs below. These are high current CBs that are for galleys and um, hydraulic uh, pumps. These are high demand uh, systems. So basically, you can look at the, the, the ratings as well on the CB. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.